we are going into cries and whispers. Have you seen it? He started his own company, Bergman. It was called Cinematograph. And uh, so for cries and whispers, he didn't have much money. And um, he, we have a fund system in Sweden. The Swedish Film Institute has a system that you can have money from the institute to a certain degree. But not the whole film. But it is a starting point in the, in the uh, financing of the film. So Bergman applied for that. And everybody was very upset. Why does a world famous director need money from the poor film institute? And I will tell you also how that is financed because it's interesting. I, it's not many countries that have that system. When every, any time I go to the cinema, Swedish films, American films, whatever films, 10% of the ticket goes to the film institute, which is a wonderful system. They took away, it, call, it was called pleasure tax, if I have a rough uh, translation. And they took that away. The man who started the film institute uh, dreamt this up, this tax thing. So 10% goes directly to film, which I think is a beautiful idea. So, Cries and Whispers was an international um, success, which not many believe, because that is a very serious film, but it is an extremely beautiful film. And it's extremely well played, I think, by all these fantastically beautiful women. And um, I met Roger Corman. Do you know who that is? Yes. He was in the island to see. We have a studio in the on the island uh, that is owned by the, the Gotland Film Fund. We have a little money from the, from the commune and we can give little money to films if they come and shoot on Gotland and in the studio. So he comes there and we, we are ambitious. We want to show him the island with the exotic stones and exotic, and he thought it was terrible. I've never met a person like that. It, he was only interested in money. It was fantastic. But he, I must say good things about him because he has also has had as trainees, directors and actors for no money at all, producers, that have become big names in Hollywood after that. So he did something good. But <laughs> So he told me the story about the cries and whispers that Paul Conan, Bergman's agent in Hollywood, showed it to him. And when the film was over, Corman stands up and said, I'm going to charge you for every minute of my life that I had to sit through this film. And <laughs> sometime later, the Corman was supposed to show a film, an outside, what do you call it, uh, outdoor movie, you know, screen outside, drive in probably. And um, the print hadn't come. So he put on Cries and Whispers because that print was still available. And that's how that success started. But he hated the film. And he said to me, <coughs> I understand that it has to be People like Bergman have to exist, but I don't care about them. <laughs> and he sent me a script about spiders and terrible animals. He wanted me to produce that on the island. He thought that it was good enough for him. And I, it was so terrible I couldn't even read the script. I couldn't read it because it was so, so scary. That film I did not produce. 